looking all over the place like what is going on y'all i am packaging packages okay i'm having a 35 percent off sale for the body gram it's only going to be valid damn y'all probably not even going to catch it by the time y'all see this video but 35 percent off yes i got a lot of new arrivals coming so i'm trying to just like get rid of everything so if you have me on social media i tell y'all all the time y'all have to follow me on social media because i post all types of updates on my social media so yeah i'm just basically packaging these orders y'all i had a time in miami and i was not working because i hate when i'm like i guess you could say on vacation and i don't get work done because i feel like everything just piles up that's why i try to like get things done before i go on vacation but y'all know how hectic it could be before you go on vacation you gotta run you gotta do this you gotta take care of that child it's a lot but we getting these orders shipped out immediately so same as before, I have some new arrivals today, so I want to show y'all them as they come, as I always do, and um, I'm excited, y'all. I got two pieces to show y'all today, and I have one coming tomorrow, and then I have a few coming next week, and I'm just debating if I should just put it out, or should I just, like, wait? I don't know, child, but I gotta figure something out. Uh, other than that, y'all... Last week's vlog was kind of short, and I felt so bad. I'm like, damn, I know y'all love the long vlogs, but it wasn't, like... It wasn't really a lot going on, and sometimes I just like to just tap in with myself and not pick up my camera, but I understand this is still my job, so I gotta tell the girls, like, look, I gotta tell y'all what's going on. Really get in tune with y'all. This week, I really want to work on my marketing, because I feel like being that I was going through so much before, I feel like I just kind of... I feel like I'm kind of half-assed in my business, y'all. I'm not going to lie. And not because of the physical work, but the digital work, literally. Like, I need to be more market. I have to do marketing. I have to set up my email and SMS list. What else I got to do? Uh, reviews, because I do want y'all to leave your reviews, y'all. One thing about it, I brag to y'all all the time. Like, look, my quality is insane, okay? And I be meaning that. So, I'm like, I got to set up... I got to set it up so that y'all could put up some reviews. Like, I have to do, like, a whole lot of more... Um, marketing for my business as well as my other business too because i feel like every time i'm paying every time i get more into my businesses i always focus on one knowing that i have like three so i have my hair company i have actually well i guess you could say three four but one these two tie hand in hand but you got i got my clothing company and then i got my hair company which i would never give up on because that was my first baby i would never give up for paris Dale collection but i know people be like girls do you still say here I will always sell here, but I'm just not promoting it. So, huh, how do you focus on just, I don't want to say focus on one business, but how do you, oh my God, I didn't get a plastic thing for this. How do you just focus on, um, how do you run multiple businesses by yourself and everybody be like, well, you need to get some help. And it's like, I want to get some help with y'all, but I don't, y'all know I do not trust nobody, child. So, I think I'm going to just, I don't know, take a try and see how I do by myself but I do essentially want to I do eventually want to get some help y'all because this could be a lot I guess I just have to really get to know the person that I decide to bring on board with me but for now I just gotta put in that overtime child I gotta put in that overtime I got goals I got things that I want and I gotta get my businesses up there because what is going on child so we really focusing on business stuff this week and I'm excited to learn new things and just show y'all what I got going on and what I'm learning. So, y'all know I'm going to bring y'all along with me, period. Oh, my God. I hate when I do that. I always forget to put the thank you card in. And oh, my God. I do this every time. Oh, well, they'll be all right. At least I put the tags. But I hate when I do that. That is so annoying. All right, y'all. So, let's go take out these packages so I can come back and show y'all these new arrivals. Hey, y'all. So... Um, I wound up not recording for the rest of yesterday, to be honest. I was working so late. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I didn't go to sleep until, like, 4 in the morning. I was so tired. Your girl was working hard and hardly working, okay? But anyway, so, I'm on my way to see what's going on with this client's package because, uh, you know, when y'all order from websites, and this is to my future clients, if you're watching your client of mine, or a customer, I'd rather say, this car is hard. Nah, what? Nah, that's fire. Um, y'all have to make sure y'all put the right address, because then when they ship it back, 
you know, there could be a lot of problems and stuff like that as far as like me receiving it. So I'm about to go see what's up for my with my customers um, package so I can ship it back out to her and make sure she's situated. Make sure she's situated. So that's that. A lot of my new arrivals came today. So y'all know I'm about to put on. Ah, I'm so excited for these new arrivals, y'all. And I want to do. Should I? I want to do a basics collection, like a summer basics before I jump into like summer wear, just yet. I'm gonna go this way. Um. Yeah, I want to do summer basics because there's a lot of things that I still want for the summertime. And I want to wear my own shit. So I got to get some summer basics and really turn it up a notch. Um, it's 83 degrees in Atlanta right now. Don't know how hot it is in New York or Miami or Houston or whatever the case may be. But I feel like it's it's, it's time for some spring clothes, okay? Very much time for some spring clothes and vacation clothes. I know a lot of y'all is going on vacation. So I got to get y'all right, y'all. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on today. I'm just fiending to get back so I can try on these new arrivals for y'all. Because y'all know I be fiending. Y'all be fiending. I got a Zara haul going up today. Oh, I got constant. Ah! <laughs> it's just so much going on. like, And I'm excited. I'm a little overwhelmed. But I'm excited. And y'all know I like waking up early. I didn't even get to go to the gym this week. You know, I'm very excited. But... I don't know when I have a lot to do I get like overwhelmed and kind of unorganized and I'll be forgetting about a lot of things so I'm just trying to like chill out you know just kind of keep my head in the game and stuff like that um the freaking post office they talking about they have so many different times for different stuff which is so annoying I just pulled up and they like oh they don't break until 2 30 it's literally 2 11 right now it's 2 11 right now so I'm like, let me go to Starbucks. I want some banana bread because I told myself I'm going to eat light in the morning. Besides, <clears throat> besides oatmeal, depending on what I got to do for the morning because I love a good bowl of oatmeal. The two packets. Love it. Give me a two pack of oatmeal. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry about this light. I'm driving, y'all. I can't keep adjusting her. I can't keep adjusting her. I'm so sorry. But I'm about to get... Y'all know I love um, my banana bread from... Um, Starbucks. So I'm about to go get a strawberry refresher and banana bread while I'm waiting. And yeah, pretty much that's what's going on for today. But I'm like, I gotta start keeping y'all more in tune and updated, y'all. It's just the thing is, I don't be so quick to like pull out my camera. That car is dusty as hell. I don't be quick to pull out my camera because I just be wanting to just live through my days, but I still take responsibility because because it's just like i don't care I'm, i always am i the only person who parking in handicap or the curbside because i don't i want to be in front valet me or i'm a valet myself okay but yeah i gotta um do better at just picking up the camera just to at least update y'all if i don't want to record the full thing because you know i feel like i move slower when i'm recording content that's why i try to like you know organize myself a little bit better anyways we in starbucks real quick so i'll be right back How they say women be getting in the car? <laughs> okay, so not that this has to be like a haul or whatever. But I got um I did get the banana bread, but I also got the coffee cake. I never had the coffee cake from Starburst before, so I definitely want to try it. So let's see what it's given. I feel like I also had to take unnecessary pictures of like everything I do because my thumbnails I need them to thumbnail okay so let me sit these set up the scene bam bam gotta make it look like something turn on the air because I'm not to melt to death got the strawberry refresher remember um last year when I was doing that I was trying all new Starbucks drinks this is probably one of my favorite ones to be honest it really gives me like a lemonade type of vibe so while I'm sitting here the place is only six minutes away. Should I just get a, a parking spot? I'm going to just take a bite of what I got first. And then we could go. So, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I just wanted to give y'all, like, a quick little life update as well. It was hot. Wait, hold on. Before we get into life update, let me rate this coffee cake. It's a little dry. Like, it's really not dry. It's not dry. But it's dry. 
like the, the the cake isn't hard or like whatever but i can't explain you ever ate a pancake with no syrup it's kind of like that oh my god that was such a good analogy wow when my mom works i'm so proud because sometimes my mom don't be working when i'm recording but the banana nut bread is always gonna eat Woo! Mm. 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 I want to give this to a homeless person because I don't want this. I'm going to just be on my way to the place so we can talk, but I could have sworn I seen like a homeless guy over there. I'll find one. Anyways, y'all, so I've been feeling the need to brag about my mental health. Can we just clap it up? Your girl is doing great mentally. I'm not feeling so defeated so easily. I'm learning to accept faster and i just feel like i don't know what it is exactly that i needed i do also feel like sometimes at a point i needed like a certain type of closure for certain things i'm that type of person i have been learning to like heal on my own and not seek uh closure from people because sometimes we gotta live with the fact that we're just not gonna get the closure that we want and it's just kind of a part of life to be honest so it's just like I'm okay with a lot of the stuff that has already happened and accepting the fact that it is what it is and I cannot change that you know and I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to what I'm learning so far on my healing journey and stuff and when I tell y'all when I was writing these notes down I was on fire I was on fire I know to like keep changing y'all I'm trying to like make sure y'all can see me good but yeah, I was on fire, y'all. I was like, oh yeah, it's uh, like, I was so excited because I'm just like, damn, all these things is coming to my head. And it's like, you know when you have a good idea and you just got to write it down, my mind was just going. I was like, oh shit, like, I'm already on fire. So, I'm doing very good and I just feel like that's a lot of good things coming my way. A lot of great things coming my way. I have goals. I have, um, y'all know, well, y'all probably don't know, but, um, I guess you could say I'm not I guess but I'm gonna be in a different setting very soon um you know my scenery is gonna switch up and I mean I feel like I'm just talking in codes with y'all at this point I'm moving I'm moving back to New York I'm moving back to New York and you know um I don't I didn't feel like I wanted to say anything yet because let me be just 100% transparent with y'all me moving back to New York I decided that I don't want to have my own place yet and it's so hard because I have my own place for two years now and I wouldn't want it any other way but I do feel like the position God is putting me in right now as far as like me relocating and everything like that I feel like I need to be surrounded by family and I'm one of those people oh my god I can't believe I'm being this transparent with y'all right now this is crazy I feel like me moving back to my parents house is a downgrade and i'm not saying like if you live with your parents you're not doing good in life i'm not saying that at all but what i'm saying is for me personally i feel like so many people are proud of me and looking up to me because of what i'm doing and you know i got my own place both of my cribs was very nice very big luxurious as fuck like you know and the pressure that just kind of made me feel like i was a failure like how am i because i did this twice i was in miami then i moved back to my parents house okay mind you i was staying in a dorm and then the second time a college suite i'm not changing the light y'all yeah we just gonna have to get with it during this ride but um and then i moved back to new york because i just felt like mentally i wasn't good like i was mentally i was the same way i am i was just like a few weeks ago i just personally i don't want to say uh, one is worse than the other because i can't really tell but i just know when my mental health gets like that i need to be around my family i need i need to like give myself more leeway to do more things you know and you know sometimes you got to take st 10 steps back to move 100 steps forward you know and i'm just trying to learn how to adjust and understand that everything happens for a reason and i do understand you know i do have the option whether i want to stay or not obviously but i just chose not to i just chose not to i just don't feel like it's in my best interest right now and you know i'm excited about where i will be living and you know being around my mother and stuff like that because if you know um i never lived with my mother before my father was my primary parent and you know i've been going back and forth with them for over the years moving every single place which that's another story for another day child we ain't here to do an autobiography or whatever is going on right now but 
you know, I never got the chance to really live with my mom, and me and my mother's like best friends, everybody knows that, so, I'm excited to live with my mother, I have a little sister, y'all know I have a little sister, and she looks up to me, and she's so proud of me, so I wanna be a great, yeah, move, move the fuck over, it's two lanes, you know, I just want to set a good example for my sister and like, you know, she's old enough now to understand certain things and, you know, I just want to be that figure in her life, like be, you know, I, I don't really know what the full effect of being, I don't know the full effect of being an older sister, like I obviously I'm an older sister, I have multiple siblings, you know, between step and blood, which don't make them any closer. I don't consider them like, you know, my step family. Those is my siblings, so I'm excited. And then my little brother, you know, I want to be around and watch him grow and stuff like that. So I'm excited. It's a lot more money in my pocket every month, like, you know. So I don't know. I'm excited, and I know my mom needs me just as much as I need her. Like, we talk about this all the time, and we breathe so much life into each other that at this point in life, we're about to shift each other and make each other better so i'm excited y'all and i really it's so crazy because a lot of women like you would think the mom is like the primary parent or whatever but no my dad was my primary parent so you know and my mother is closer to you know where everybody i know is where all my family is like my mother's way closer if you know you know i was living way further out which i hated that going on to my new journey i'm trying not to like think about it too much and try to like get in my own head about things so it is what it is, but yeah, y'all, that's pretty much what's going on. Like I said, I'm going to make a video, and I feel like we all need to hear this, to be honest, especially, like, as women or a man healing. Like, I really just don't be wanting to make my content strictly for women, but I'm a woman, so I can relate to y'all a whole lot more. I can't speak for men, but I know a lot of the advice I give and the words that I speak can apply to everybody, because we all go through things, you know, so... That's pretty much where I am with that, but make sure y'all stay tuned for that video. I'm excited for that Zara haul, because y'all seen in my last vlog a few of the things I bought from Zara, but the way I did this haul, I have a whole different setup. It's so pretty. I just feel like I ate that. Ooh! Girl, you ate that. Scrum deli yum yum my purr purr. Like, literally. <laughs> literally. Literally. So, yeah. That's what I got going on now. It's about time for me to get in that post office, so I'll be back, y'all. Hopefully, they got my damn package, because God, please. Y'all, when I tell y'all I am so thankful, got the girl package. I was so worried that it wasn't going to be there, so I'm so happy. I'm so thankful, because I just hate when anything goes wrong with my clients and their stuff. Mm. Now, we go back home to try our new arrivals. All right, y'all, so this is one of the first dresses, and tell me this dress, oh, I can't move too close, because then you're not gonna be able to see. Tell me this dress does not eat, so it's real tight around the legs, so it makes sure it gives you that, like, hourglass shape. Oh, and y'all, when I tell y'all, I was having trouble getting this part over my um hips, so that's how you know, when I ain't gonna stretch it, I was like, I know I'm super thick, but what? Tell me this dress is not super cute. I wouldn't wear black undergarments under it unless I got black. I'm thinking about getting the black color too. They have nude as well. But I just figured this green was just so elegant. Like it stood out the most to me. So I'm like, ooh, I think I'm going to do this green. So what are we thinking about this dress, y'all? Very cute, very sexy, very formal, very beachy. Doesn't drag on the floor but still gives elegant. Once again, this comes in nude and black too. But I only have the green. So y'all got to let me know if y'all interested in looking at some other colors okay so okay we got this one which i don't know what i'm gonna call this what should i call this i don't know all right y'all so this is the next outfit and this outfit eats so much so obviously it's a capri jumpsuit and i was looking for something like this just so you know run errands with something quick and cute got the boobies out got some nice little support going it hugs my waist feeling real good oh my god the body brand is really the body brand because one thing about me i'm gonna give the girls a body okay this is what the back looks like it makes your butt look really nice and stretchy and it doesn't feel cheap at all like one thing i hate about some of these outfits is that It'll be nice like this, but they don't stretch. And if it don't stretch, it's going to give us, like, real pancake vibes. We don't want no pancake butt. So it's just kind of like, you know, once again, very stretchy. And this comes out of the colors too black. 
I don't think it's available in black from what I seen I did search I did look and it was not available but they got it in pink like a nice dusty pink so I might get that for y'all if this one's up doing good because I feel like these are gonna sell out because I just feel like why wouldn't they sell out why wouldn't they sell out this is so fire like look at this outfit cute capris like this is so cute this is actually one of my favorites and i cannot wait to wear this outside maybe a quick little date or something what is she giving what is she giving what is she giving child yes all right so boom that's this outfit let's try another one i'm gonna do a cold full clothing on where everything comes but this is just what i got for right now y'all this bodysuit is so sexy oh yes what happened y'all this is so fire stop playing stop playing acting like i don't know how to pick the pieces pick the pieces all right so first of all i had on a black bra but i just it just looks so tacky and i know i'm just doing this for the sake of the video like i know how that goes but it just still wasn't doing it for me like it was just you know so i just put on some black pasties and this is probably how i'm gonna wear it in real life when i actually do wear this outfit but tell me this jumpsuit is not super cute so it's like what i really like about this jumpsuit is just the fact that yes you know dang and i already posted a preview but i probably should have waited a little bit but i'm just so in love with this jumpsuit because i know i'm about to be super in love with these next two pieces i'm gonna show y'all i know i'm about to go over the top I know I'm about to bug out or whatever, but I just posted this because I'm like sneak peeks, you know, whatever. But yeah, so I put the pasties on and it looks so much better because I like the detailing of how it's supposed to be. Like, I guess you could say a halter top or whatever this is supposed to be. And I just felt like I should show y'all the proper way. So this is just what it looks like. Don't mind this. This is the tag. But I like how it's not too, so, too. I like how, I was just bugging out just now, y'all. I like how it's not too revealing, but it's revealing enough. Like for a girl who likes to be risky and likes her cheeks out sometimes, like cleavage, like skin out, like, you know, all that extra stuff. I like how it's still very dark and dim and just, you know, regular, but it still gives see-through, sexy, wear it outside, maybe backyard party not that we still go to back up not that we still go to backyard parties no shade to those but they be dangerous nowadays so i don't know if i'm already be there but anyways yes y'all it just looks so good and form fitting and i feel like you could class this up you could dress it up you could dress it down you could do whatever and it's just so versatile i just love this how are we feeling about this I ain't feeling about this. I gotta do a whole video, like a whole clothing haul, just like I did for Zara. So make sure y'all go check out my Zara haul. I'm gonna do the same thing and we're gonna talk about these pieces. And yeah, y'all. So let me know. Let's switch to the next outfit. Let's see what's going on. Like I said, this next outfit was gonna eat. Okay, let's get into the details. I'm a little bloated, y'all. Don't look at that. But let's get into these details okay first of all i like how the top and the bottom is two different colors but they complement each other it's giving me very vacation vibes very sunlight it's giving very sunlight okay so first of all i do have on a size small now i do feel like i could have went for a medium but the top is already like kind of loose not super loose but i feel like i need things to be a little bit tighter because my boobs are a little bit bigger so it's like i don't want to spill out so that's that and then the bottoms i'm just so thick they just fit so nice and pretty y'all cannot wait to drop this i don't know what i'm gonna wear with it but i'm gonna figure something out child because something is gonna go period all right let's get on this next and last outfit for tonight and then i'm going to the gym so i can lay my ass down all right y'all so this is the last set and this is so cute and flattering it's stretchy which I love because I can shake my butt in it. Not that I'm going to be doing too much. But I like something I can move in, chow. So my tits definitely do feel very secure. The only thing is I do still have on these black pasties. And being that they're like crisscross, it keeps poking out. And I'm so annoyed behind that. But at least it's because it's crisscross and not that this is just too short. Because I was worried that it would be too short. And that my boobs would just kind of fall out. But my boobs is they sitting like they just they chilling right now so this is super 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 cute and i cannot wait to put this on the website y'all i'm about to eat this up i don't know where i'm going i don't know what i'm doing in it i don't know what i'm wearing with it actually i do know i'm probably gonna be like a green bag maybe hmm i don't know what color shoes but i'll figure it out but this is so cute y'all i know how to pick some 
fire pieces and i still have more on the way too but they didn't get hit yeah i just wanted to show y'all what i got now so anyways y'all it's 10 52 i'm debating if i want to go to the gym or if i want to just go to bed because <laughs> i do want to go to the gym but i don't know we'll see whatever i do in the next clip <laughs> Y'all, I know I look super crazy right now with this bull cap on, but y'all know I don't have to give y'all the rundown. Y'all already know when y'all see this set up, what's about to go on, y'all. I have to install this wig. And I'm supposed to be doing like a, um, whatchamacallit, I was supposed to be doing some content. Actually, I was really supposed to be doing some content today, but it got pushed back to tomorrow because you know new arrivals is coming, so I gotta make that content. And it's like... <laughs> Although I do this hair all the time, I tell y'all all the time that this is my favorite hairstyle and the outfits are just giving more fun. I feel like I always play safe, do a bust down, whatever. But I got me another water wave wig, another short one, so y'all already know I'm about to do my flip over. But the only difference between this video, the only difference between this segment and others is that I actually have something to talk about in this video. And I just kind of wanted to vent a little bit. Um, I know I'll be like all over the place or whatever, but let's talk real quick right so before we get deep into it i got this wig from eula hair this is actually and i must say y'all know one thing about me i know i do not talk about the quality of wigs because i usually do not wear them long enough but one thing about me i know a good wig and when my first impressions are really strong they're here i also feel like i'm a little tilted but y'all be right anyways i got this water wave wig from eula hair and this is so full and it's also a 13 by 6 is this a 13 by 6? No, this is a 13 by 4. Is it a 6? I put it on the screen somewhere, but yeah. This is an HD wig, so y'all know I'm about to lay this down. And um, I'm really excited about it, but I wanted to talk to y'all. So we're not the lace matches a lot. I'm not going to tint under the lace. I'm only going to put literally a little bit on top because I don't want to do too, too much. And then the lace is too dark. I've had that situation happen too many times. And it doesn't blend properly. Okay, we got one side down. Good. I got to make sure the setup is good before I start talking. Because then I don't get distracted. Y'all know how I get. Had to get my lights together, y'all. So, like I said, I'm only put a little bit. And then, boom. So, following along. Anyways, I just basically want to talk to y'all. And I don't want to get too, too deep into the topic. Because I am making a video about, you know, a lot of us be scared of change, scared of moving on. And when I talk about things like this, I don't want y'all to only think it's subjective to a relationship just because of, you know, the things I'm going on, I'm going through in my life right now. Cause you know, if you're new to my channel, well, if you don't know, obviously. If you're new to my channel, just go take a look at my last few videos. I'm pretty sure y'all can see what's been going on for like the last two years, actually four years, to be honest, as far as like my situationship slash relationship. You know, these men's could drop crazy, yeah. But it's not even just relationships as far as, like, men and women. You know, it could be platonic relationships. It could be family, relatives. Like, you know, whatever. But, yeah, girl, I've just been going through a lot. Like, you know, and don't get me wrong. I feel like since everything has happened, I've been so much happier nowadays. Like, I feel like my anxiety has went down a lot. Like, a lot. I feel like I've been having more faith in God and more faith in my ability to make things happen alone with God's power and I don't know y'all I feel like that's a big flex for me and it's like you know I don't find myself worrying too much about a lot of things I kind of just let things be what they are and accept them for whatever it is and I try not to just basically for lack of a better term cry over spilt milk like you know and I don't know it's it, although it's been a lot and like I said I don't want to go too too much into it but put it like this, I'm a person, and I, I don't feel like I've completely overcame this, but I'm a person who also is kind of like slightly overcoming being scared of change, because I don't want to sit here and a lot of y'all like, I'm not scared of change, I'm about to that, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, it's not that. I still get very scared, but I'd rather be scared and find out what could come from it and like put myself in that predicament than be scared of failing. Because, oh my God, you want to scare me? Let's talk about failure. Yeah, I'm gonna be shook it. I'm gonna be shook real bad. So it's just kind of like, okay. Sorry, I wanna make sure my forehead do not look too low, child, cause I don't need, I don't need that. Yes, y'all. Like I said, I didn't completely get over it, but I feel like, I don't know. I've been, I've been, aside of me doing things that better myself, period, cause I know y'all, I'm about to be all over the place. Like I said, this is a venting session. So let's just keep that in mind okay but i feel like i'm in a stage in my life where i'm starting to understand myself more 
and I'm challenging myself as well like all right well I know I'm not used to this I know I'm not used to that but I know what I want so it's just kind of like where do I go like what where do I start as far as direction I find myself looking for a sense of direction a lot because it's like when your mind is just so crowded with everything you got going on it's very hard to just focus on one thing and you know some people have the ability to do that but I don't I, I really do not have the ability to do that one thing about me I'm always worried about the next move but you want to know something I feel like the reason I do that is because I don't have a choice I'm an adult I'm 25 years old I pay for everything by myself I don't have no help and I'm not complaining don't get me wrong because look I'm an adult literally like I said but it's still like that could give you anxiety especially when it's like you are how can I put it you are in control of your income and whether you're able to increase it or whether you're the reason why it's decreasing you know and it's like if your mental gotta be right as far as like <sighs> y'all when i talk i start to like right on the breath i don't know what's going on <sighs> <laughs> so it's like damn like how do you just strictly focus and i know it has a lot to do with like organization and you know stuff like that and i'm like damn like i'm working on trying to be organized like i'm just trying to work on the person that i want to be and already act on who that person already is especially when you know i put myself in a new environment because you know it's so weird because i don't really i don't feel like i'm fully a hundred percent ready to talk about the whole thing but it's like <laughs> I don't feel right not talking to y'all about certain things. It's just kind of weird because I just feel like I have a different connection with my YouTube um, audience supporters. You know, a lot of y'all are like family. I love when y'all just comment, you know, we just talk about different things. And I know I have to reconnect with y'all and not reconnect with y'all. That's not the word I'm looking for, but... I know I just I just want to give y'all the time of day because y'all actually take the time out of y'all day to click my videos and y'all know I get paid for these videos so it's like besides me getting paid I'm still giving y'all relatable content and it's like y'all coming back because y'all feel like I'm relatable because you might see me as your internet cousin or internet sister niece whatever you know I, I feel like I attract all ages you know sex whatever the case it may be so it's just kind of like I don't know I just be feeling like I want to tell y'all everything and I just feel like everybody on different apps have different intentions right so I feel like people on YouTube just like people on TikTok I feel like everybody's more laid back and more like this is real life and don't expect too much and then compared to like on Instagram everybody puts on this facade that they're so perfect and it's like you sitting there judging somebody under some post and you doing the same thing like when people was talking about oh india went back jd went back all right you went back to your cheating ass man how many times now this is what 10 times like we all been done over a man before we all been dumb over a friend before we all been dumb over a relative before we all been like we all been in a predicament where we're basically second guessing our conscious and our better mind and it's just like maybe this is not or maybe this is even regardless if they already gave us a reason we still be like nah that's not what you know and i just hate when people just be so quick to judge people like they don't got their own skeletons in a closet like they don't got their own shit to lay in like i hate stuff like that so it's just like i like coming on youtube and just talking to y'all about stuff and I, a part of me do feel like you know we strangers you know i'm talking to y'all through the camera so it's like i don't really expect too much from y'all at the same time but it's still like i still be feeling the connection especially when i make my videos live or you know y'all comment on my videos and sometimes i don't even get to the chance to get back to y'all but trust me i see those comments and i make sure i acknowledge them as much as i can so <sighs> y'all more of the story is because y'all know i could talk child i like talking to my youtube audience because y'all don't mind tuning in just to see what i'm doing and it doesn't have to be polished it doesn't have to be perfect i don't have to give an aesthetic which i love aesthetics don't get me wrong but i could just be regular i could just be chilling talking y'all and we just vibing you know but anyways y'all yeah i'm about to go through a big change in my life and i feel like i mentioned this um i did actually mention this earlier in the blog so y'all already know the situation with my mom and stuff like that and it's just like I don't know I catch myself thinking about it a lot and I just kind of ask myself like 
are you ready you know do you think you can handle this this is going to be such a big change for you and i don't i, I one thing about me i self-sabotage well i used to i don't really do it that much no more i'm doing way better y'all but i feel like i self i used to self-sabotage a lot and i'm just kind of dealing with the fact that sometimes you got to put yourself in uncomfortable predicaments to really test your potential and that's where i'm trying to go with it like all right well i'm not used to this but what could i come out of it with because if you stay where you're comfortable and i'm not just talking physically but if you stay wherever you're comfortable that's a job that's a position that's a, a certain level of a business you know whatever how are you going to see what your true potential is how far you can really take you know whatever it is that you're doing or working on or you know whatever the case may be so i kind of look at it as a challenge and y'all know i document my whole life so i just want to have something to look back on you know a few years from now and i'm just like wow y'all remember we was talking about how i left my luxury apartment in buckhead atlanta and now moving back to my mother house and not once again it's not for financial reasons which no shade i don't want to talk down on people who do have to go back to their parents house for financial reasons life is hard we in a recession like you know whatever i just need to go and be around family and help my mental health you know do the therapy thing whatever and it's like me and my mother is closer than ever so why not why not i'm not gonna be in an uncomfortable predicament i'm gonna have my own space like my own stuff like it's not really like everybody on top of each other or whatever so i feel like it could be so much worse so i just feel like i gotta be grateful and i feel like this is kind of like a blessing in disguise in a way too because it's just kind of like you couldn't have told me three months from three months prior to right now that i would not only be moving back to new york but that i would be living with my mother because if you know you know which i don't expect y'all to really know no but okay i told y'all earlier See, the, another thing that I do want to do too, and I'm going to just, um, after I say this, I'm going to just glue the sides and come back because I'll mess around and talk to y'all and never get nothing done. So I just want to save the styling part so we could just get down to the nitty gritty. So what I do want to say is me and my mother eventually are going to, because I told my mother, I'm coming and you're making content with me. And my mother is like, you know, oh my God, I don't even know if I told y'all this part, but my mother's so happy. She's like, you know, she feels just like i'm gonna benefit off of being around my mom she feels like she's gonna benefit from me being around too because you know i feel like i'm not a mother but you know i am my mother's like if she wasn't i can't even say if she wasn't my mother but you know how they got the twin tele telep telepathy telepathy if i said that wrong oh my god that's so embarrassing but y'all know what i'm trying to say me and my mother is just like that we're like twins we look just alike we act just alike we talk just alike it's i'm my mother's child I'm my mother's child and we came such a long way and it's just like she feels like I'm gonna bring that spark back for her and hold her accountable for more things like you know my mom wants to work out and you know whatever I didn't even post a vlog of me going with my mother to uh, Miami to get her body done and stuff because everybody get their body done for different reasons and just for those weirdo haters people that just be like ah oh, it's not natural insecurities everybody has insecurities and everybody wants to be, you know, polished to their liking. Everybody doesn't want a big old strip of booty. Everybody just, you know, want to feel comfortable in their skin. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I went for the same reason. I just wanted to be more comfortable in my skin, you know. And I don't want to have to worry about the little things or fitting in my clothes a certain way, which I'm going to make a video about my weight gain journey as well. Because, boy, did I come a long way, y'all. I'm going to be, um reacting to all of my stuff which i know y'all gonna look like that wasn't true and i'm gonna be like girl girl it was like i don't even know what she is <laughs> but yes y'all so i don't know child i don't know but it's, it's i gotta i'm just looking for a damn clip sorry y'all i just i like to have everything in front of me if i don't it's like gonna uh, uh, upset me uh, let me get this glue down so we can finish talking because I'll take all day. So all in all, y'all, I'm just pretty much excited for, you know, everything that I am about to experience. And I'm not going to lie. Do y'all read your horoscopes often too? Because I feel like my horoscopes, not, I'm not, I'll be honest, not as of lately, lately, my horoscopes have been accurate. But for the last, prior to my, that whole big situation that happened, my horoscope has been literally spot on 
like spot on for like two months plus to the point where I'm like, who is in here watching me? Because while you know this, like this is so scary. And it's like one of the girls who horoscope I was reading, her name is called, um, her page is the real Empress Alia, something like that. Yo, when the whole situation went down, I feel like I told y'all this already, but when that whole situation went down and she gave me a free reading, just off the strength, like, wow, like, you know, your words were powerful and, you know, so on and so forth. She felt like she wanted to give me a reading and I thought it was so funny. Well, not funny, but I thought it was so ironic because I read her daily horoscopes. That's why I was like, that's weird. That's weird. And then I got a reading from her and I was like, mm, this is crazy. This is crazy. I know a lot of people don't believe in like, you know, getting readings done and spiritual spirituality and, you know, all different types of stuff like that. But girl, I'm into it and I be wanting to like learn a little bit more about it. While I was in Miami, I was talking to this woman who I met. She was so sweet and she was such a beautiful girl. And we was talking over dinner and we basically was talking about astrology, conspiracy theories, which let me just tell y'all something. I love a girl who you know because let's put it like this i feel like there's a stigma around pretty popular fly women i feel like they only feel like they're surface level and although that may be true for a lot of cases there's a lot of women out there that still give that luxury aesthetically pleasing pretty fly fast like whatever oh that's not true it is they still give off that vibe and still are way below the surface when i tell y'all just so full of wisdom and so full of like and they actually have like a real personality and have some type of relatability because i feel like a lot of people connect those type of women with just being boring and just only caring about a certain way of life you know and it felt so good because don't get me wrong i still consider myself a certain type of woman i never like to put myself in a category because yeah i'm pretty i'm fly i got this i got that but the personality is here the education is here the conversation the relatability the the understanding that part of me is definitely here and i feel like that's why and i, I don't i want to say this in a way where it's not like I'm trying to put myself down because by no means am I trying to put myself down in any type of way. But I feel like that's why I don't fit in 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 a lot of these rooms with a lot of these women. And not that I want to be in these people's rooms. Don't get me wrong. Some rooms I do want to be into because I feel like certain women I do slightly look up to in a way as far as what I see on the outside. Because you never know what somebody going through. You never know if somebody's really a terrible person. Like you never know. But as far as like their drive, ambition, stuff like that, right? And it's just like, when I speak, I seem like I'm so, I don't want to say innocent because I don't want to speak for nobody, but I feel like I watched this podcast the other day and she said this girl seems like they both in the clubs, they both work in the clubs and they described the girl and they was just like, you so sweet. Like you seem like you never went through nothing. And I don't know why I related to that so much because it's like, obviously I went through uh, a lot in my life. But it gives me the vibes like you don't have to be stuck up and have an attitude and think you better than somebody or treat people bad just because, you know, you're a certain type of woman or you like certain things. So I don't know. But yeah, I do feel like especially being in Atlanta, it did make me feel like I don't fit in a lot of these rooms. But a lot of these rooms I don't even want to be in. They don't even want to be in those rooms. Like they're not the girls that you think they are. Like a lot of these women are so boring. All you know is men, money bags, like what else? You can't even keep a friend. That's one of those friend groups where it's like, it's so much women and they all talk about each other. They all doing each other dudes, like those type of situations. And I definitely don't fit in that room, but it's also like, I, I'm in a, I want to surround myself around like-minded people as well. And you don't have to have the best of the best. You don't gotta be driving certain cars. You don't gotta be nothing, but you have to be like-minded. Like I'm very, I'm very ambitious. I know what I want out of life. I know the type of people I want to be around, you know, stuff like that. So it's just kind of like, I feel like I'm in the middle of like the humble girls just chilling. They know how to have a good vibe, make you laugh, do a little bit of this and that. And then it's like, but I can really show up and show out too. Like, you know, I don't know. It's just a little bit weird, but it's like these conversations are just so like, ah, I'm ready to get out of Atlanta. Cause I like real, every person I meet or, and that's, I, maybe that's 
my problem because I feel like everybody I meet that I feel like is actually pretty cool. I don't make nobody my friend. You're definitely just put to that associate level. But it's also like, can we just hold a good conversation? We don't have to ever speak after we see each other today. But can we just hold the conversation? You know, like, I don't want to talk about men all the time. I don't want to talk about toxic stuff all the time. Like, and I feel like a lot of people cling to me with that. You know, a lot of y'all be trying to vent to me and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong. I'm always here to give the girls some advice. And I do when I, you know, I feel like the time is right. But I also feel like, too, a lot of people make that the only thing they could, not only thing they could talk to me about. Because people talk to me about a lot of things. So let me not say that. But I feel like people look, look for that advice from me for some reason. And I'm just kind of like, probably because of, you know, what I put out there or my experiences or, you know, whatever the case may be. I don't know, child, but the moral of the story is I just, I, I'm, I'm ready to not only be around like-minded people, but people who are just so humble to where I could teach them things. They could teach me things and it's not like a big thing. Like, it's not, a, oh, well, I did this and I, uh, blah, 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 all that actualness is like, you know, and I do feel like you should be around people who are either smarter than you or flyer than you, know more than you, have more than you, because I feel like you just learn. But within being around those type of people, they still make you feel like you're with them and not beneath them, if that makes any sense. So that's pretty much where I be at with it, y'all. It's pretty weird, but I'm just ready to be around my people again, like... I just feel like my my core friends and you know everybody I just feel like they're back home and I, and I, I miss that y'all I don't like feeling like I have to change myself or be a certain way to be around certain people because it's just like when 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 it's time to do what needs to be done it's gonna be done and it's gonna be done right so I'm not even worried but it's still like can I just chill sometimes like don't get me wrong I have t taken myself out of the habit of you know trying to be too comfortable whether that's too comfortable in general or clothes wise like sometimes i like to just throw in sweats go to the store real quick boom 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 but i still try to not look like bummy you know and i don't want to make it seem like because being bummy is very subjective and you know i always tell y'all like i would never i don't talk down on people but you know sometimes people take things the wrong way so i don't never want to offend nobody even though people are not gonna like everything you have to say all the time it's just kind of how life goes but you know i feel like I try to be very careful with my words because I don't, I feel like when people try to respond to certain things I say or whatever the case may be, they try to be funny. And one thing I don't do is the funny games. I don't, I don't, I don't play those games and I get very disrespectful. So I try to just avoid all of that in the beginning. Anyways, y'all, let me untie this up. I'm going to wet this hair up a little bit and then we're going to go one thing again. Once again, we have to talk. We have to talk. And I'm going to post that video probably like next week, hopefully, um, the whole scared of change and how things have been going for me lately as far as adapting, new habits, stuff like that. I feel like y'all would like that. So anyways, let me tell my, um, let me tell my hair down, child, wet my hair up a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy because I still want, um, I still want my hair to be big. So I, I'm not going to do too much. But we're going to get into it. So I'm going to spray some of this even on the comb because I know I never directly put it on my hair because I don't want it to be a uh, cinnamon toast crunch. E. So I'm going to just put that on these missing spots. Put it on the actual hairline a bit as well just to hold those baby hairs down. And I could have just blow dried it, which I think I'm going to blow dry it a little bit. And then I'm going to come back with my hair done. So, be right back. Alright, y'all. So, this is the final look of this hair. Y'all already know what it's giving. Okay? Very puffy, very big. This is 24 inches too. And I'm not going to lie. Although I do love my long and wavy hair, child. I really do. When I do the flip over method, I love hair that's not too long. So, yeah, 26 is cool. Depending on the texture of the hair, it could kind of get annoying. But, like, 22 with a light density. I want to say, like, 22 with, like, a good... 180 180 200 because i still like big hair but calm big hair at the same time 
fire but this is 20 this is 250 percent density and this is 24 inches so y'all already see what this hair is given i did not drench it to death this is the side that i kind of wet a little bit more and this side i just left as is i just kind of combed it out with a wide tooth comb and boom it did that and once this dries this is going to be just as big so tomorrow for the shoot because i am doing uh oh my, oh my god i almost said uh, <laughs> said i'm doing a pdc shoot which yeah soon but i'm doing a shoot for um shot the body burn for the new arrivals and stuff so i wanted my hair to be very big tropical you know get that vibe so this is what we got going on child this hair is beautiful and luscious so if y'all want all the information on this hair y'all already know where to check it's going to be down below in the description box so now let's go take a look at these new arrivals because i already showed y'all a few but i got two more i really wish i could show y'all the other ones which i am gonna show y'all but that's gonna be on next week's vlog so make sure y'all go tune into that other than that let me show y'all these two new pieces that just came in because they are fine so y'all cannot tell me that this set does not eat look how long first of all i'm 5'3 and i'm on my tippy toes and it's still scrubbing the ground no young my am like look at y'all this eats first of all isn't this like double layered hold on let me let me feel before i start to speak it's not double layered but it's thick like it is oh yes this is gonna sell really good so this is the boob area i'm have on a size small right now i also had on a size small and that um that like denim looking top so yeah we already know this is about to eat. It feels so good. And it, oh my God, y'all know me. Y'all know me. I hate when stuff feels so cheap and just like ugh, on handy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This don't give on hand. This gives on hand luxury. This gives on hand luck. Look how cute. Bam. Wait, I gotta. Let me move back a little bit. I gotta give y'all like a bam, 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 bam. Bam, model, hips, 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 back, hold on, bow, come back forward, sideways, poke it, yeah, pose that. Look, look at I'm hype. I'm so hyped, this fits so good. I could see me wearing this during the summertime. Do I know where? No. Maybe a nice boat ride. This also comes in, I think, like an orange color, so we might be on to something. But this is just so cute, but I can't explain it. Let me try to turn it around so y'all can see the material. Even though, y'all, I am going to do an in-depth video just like how I did like my Zara haul. I'm going to do a video like that for the body brand. And we're going to eat this up. But this hugs my waist so nice. It doesn't make me feel like, you know when you sit down and something is so tight and snatch your waist? That is giving like your stomach is going to fall over. It doesn't give me that vibe. It has two pockets right here. I don't know if y'all can really see that. But it has two pockets. One, one. This is how the back looks. Tell me my butt don't look real cute. Let me turn around so y'all can see the material. So this is the material of the outfit. Don't look at the mess in the background, y'all. But this is the material of the outfit. This is the material of the pants. And yeah, she eats. She eats. She eats, y'all. So that's what it's giving for right now. Like I said, I have two more um, items coming out. The white shorts coming. And I have the... Um, the pink it's like a nudie pink set that i feel like it's another casual just throw on this is so cute especially with this hair y'all didn't see this okay y'all didn't see this if i wear the same wig with this outfit y'all didn't see this because i think i might want to wear it like this i'm not even gonna lie to you yeah I'm not even gonna, yeah anyways y'all so that's what this is giving Okay, and we are outside this summer with the body. Tell, let me know if y'all gonna be shopping with the body brand because I'm not about to keep putting out these pieces for nothing, girl. And y'all know the body brand is coming to Brooklyn, New York. So it will be available on hand. I will announce when it's officially available because I do have a lot of back end stuff I gotta take care of before, you know, I allow that service, before I have that service because I know how y'all last minute girls get. Okay, I know how y'all get. So I'm gonna make sure I got it available online, in person, you know and do the whole nine so anyways y'all this is what this given tonight i'm about to make um some empanadas some rice i didn't know what to make on the side so i'm just making empanadas and rice don't judge me i live by myself so whatever i want i don't gotta please nobody okay but yeah i'm about to make that but i'm waiting for the um 
the dough to defrost a little bit because I had it in a freezer. So as soon as that defrosts, we're going to make some amps. So other than that, um, I'm going to see how it's time to cook, child, because it's already late. I got this body brand shoe to do tomorrow. I got content to do in these outfits tomorrow. I got a whole lot of stuff. Like, let me just show y'all real quick. I don't want to, you know, do too much of my new outfit. But I have so much inventory like just out i have this over here i got the box over there i got more in here um got the box on the counter right there sorry y'all it's messy like i said um i got inventory inventory here i got inventory all over the place i really gotta like clean up because oh sorry y'all i wasn't looking mm, uh -uh, i look too like my melanin okay so yeah, um, it's, it's inventory everywhere, but I'm excited to show y'all, and y'all already seen everything that's going on, so tomorrow y'all gonna see it all put together, and we gonna eat this up, so, yeah. Alright y'all, I got the ground beef cooking, I'm about to turn on the oil, and then y'all know I use my rice cooker, I don't care what nobody says, okay, but I'm gonna be real light-handed with the seasoning, so all I'm using this season, I probably should have opened these before I picked up the camera, y'all, hold on. Alright, so I'm gonna just use some onion powder. Gotta put a generous amount of seasoning. Y'all know I like my food seasoned, y'all. And then I'm gonna put some garlic powder. Okay, looking good, looking good. I know some of y'all looking like, oh my God, shut up. And then some adobo. And then I'm also gonna put, I got these, what are these? These are chopped up peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Usually I chop them up myself. But I'm not going to lie, y'all. I got a little bit lazy, so I'm just like, sometimes I take the shortcut and just buy them. But I'm going to put a little bit of this in there. I don't like them too, like, you know, so I'm just going to put it like a little bit. And then once they cook a little bit more, once they cook a little bit more, then I'm going to put some cheese in it. Like, just a little bit of cheese with a spatula. Damn, how am I going to mix it and hold the camera at the same time? This is hard. I see the pan sliding everywhere. Mm. Yo, this smells so good. I feel like I'm making a burger or something. Y'all know I don't play with my ground beef, okay? So, yeah, I'm about to put the onions just burning my eyes a little bit. And I wouldn't normally put um, tomatoes in an empanada, but I'm, I was thinking maybe I could try something new. So... Boom, let's do this. We'll let it cook a little bit more. We're gonna add the cheese and then we're gonna drop it right in the oil. I'm about to try on the clothes and do the modeling and all that and so on and so forth. But y'all, I wanted to, I'm doing it on TikTok too, by the way. So why did I go and pick up this heel numbing cream? So basically, well, numbing spray, I know y'all probably heard of it, but this is my first time using it. And it's supposed to help you walk in heels better and longer. So we are gonna see if these tactics work. But Leisha is here, she is helping me today. And um, I gotta hurry up and get this content out y'all. So. Let's go and get started. Y'all, this is the outfit. So laid out. I don't know if I'm going to go crazy with the accessories because I kind of want to do a whole different segment with the accessories. So I might just keep it strictly like apparel for right now. But this is what we got going on. Y'all know these look very familiar. Very familiar. We got your girl leash over there. Hey, bro. Y'all, it's messy in here. Don't look around, don't look around. But yes, I got the spray, so we're gonna try it downstairs, okay? They say they don't fuck with me, but I say they can't fuck with me. Just like the girl, I'm everywhere. 
Alicia is helping me. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. That is cute, right? Is somebody there? No, that's us. Okay. Alicia is helping me. She's being innovative. Thank you, bro. <laughs> she said that this outfit would look cute right here, y'all. It's some waterfalls. So we working with right here, right by this green plant, and these rings right here. What you thinking? What you thinking? I'm back here, y'all, because I can't walk. <laughs> what you think? That's cute. Damn, but it's a lot of light over there. Big wave. We making some TikToks, y'all. Getting it done. I look so washed. We are outside. Oh. We are outside. And it's actually not that cold, to be honest. Probably because it's hotter inside, so maybe it's not that bad. Uh huh. I need the. I'm gonna need. Okay. In between these rings, though, it's gonna give like standing because I'm gonna have to get low. Okay. You don't but get so low, you get my coochie because it's out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All I need you to get is the, the, the light, it's on the charger, and that um vacation looking bag. And I'm gonna sit my ass right here before I can walk. Okay, you said the light is on the charger. Yeah, that one right sitting on the um thing. Huh? Uh, no, no, no. The um the brown bag right on the um counter. The brown one, yeah. Y'all, Atlanta is just so like moody, and I just don't know like the weather. How it was like sixty something degrees today. The other day was 83 degrees. I was sweating. I was sweating very bad. And now it want to be a little cold. But good thing I, um, what you call it? Got it? Good thing I, um, just waited. Yeah. All right, y'all. We got to test this out. Be right know that nigga, I just seen them on the town before So I can't be up in her face, I took a nigga down before When I lose a nigga, I just pop out and go find some more As soon as I feel like my time get wasted, then it's time to go They say they don't fuck with me, but I say they can't fuck with me Just like the girl, I'm everywhere, how you say it so me? Them bitches should've stayed down, they could've been up to me But all they doing is talking down, cause they can't get up with me My ex fucking on my old friend, both they had some fucking clowns up on me, she got my hammer down. He thought he won't gon' have to stand on shit like he was handicapped. Made that nigga stand on it. Now his ass can't stand me now. Cash fuck, I'm lit, yup. I don't smoke no sushi. Slime with my gang and milk. Looking in my sister. These bitches be letting they go. I said about these niggas. I, I don't wanna hang with them. They don't have no business. They be gone for anything, but I can't go for none of them. Why would I go chase you if I know you gon' come run it back? They really get me fucked up, and now I'm going for none of that. She the type the nigga make a mess, she going too soon. Me, I'm kind of ratchet still, so I'm the type to be on. I can't love you, baby, like your bitch do, so don't leave her. You gon' choose her every time, cause it's you for the keep up. Can't say your name up in my songs, might not fuck with you tomorrow. Can't get my feelings hurt today, I won't give a fuck tomorrow. They fuck up, I no credit scope, I might be rich as fuck tomorrow. Every day the sun won't shine, but that's why I love tomorrow. today y'all i'm so appreciative of how y'all watch this content because when i tell y'all she bodied that don't play with me don't play with me she ate that up <laughs> she, she, she ate that up now 
we're going to get a drink on a Sunday. Celebrate my girl being on this side of town. Celebrate the, oh, I almost said PDC shoot. Shop the Body Brand shoot. Okay. And just celebrate and link my friend after the last time we had to almost knock a few fucking buck. Mm -hmm. That's another story. I told y'all that one. But anyways, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to my vlog. I will see y'all in the next vlog. Y'all gonna be seeing my baby around. Look at the pretty girl. For, look at her skin. Look at her skin. Stop talking to me. Stop, Stop talking, talking to me. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in to this live. I hope y'all enjoyed that PTS. Did I say P? BTS. Got good footage. And I'm gonna see y'all next time. Bye, y'all. Mean girls and shoes. <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how I feel. <laughs> yes, y'all, look at how good she looks in this. I wish the lights was up so I could have had better lighting, but you know, like, what, like, yeah. I'm the Shop the Body brand plus size model. Okay. One of many, yeah. Because we represent, yeah.